Hi there, this is question one from section 2.8 of John Stewart's Calculus Early Transcendals. This first question just asking you to find the value of the derivative for the following function. So for this, we're basically going to use delta y over delta x or rise over run. So if we look at this function, we'll start with the first one where we're trying to find the rate of change at zero. So zero on the x-axis is pretty easy to find. And I'll just put a dot there in case you're not aware. You're basically looking for where the line intersects the zero point on the x-axis. And now if we try to draw a first line as a tangent line, you can see that this line doesn't match the curve very accurate. It's much more steep than the curve. And if we try this again, this one is a much closer accurate estimate. So now we basically have to find a rise of a run. So to start with, I drew two little box, sorry, two little lines on here one going roughly the length or the run, and one going the rise. So you can see the run is about two boxes and the rise appears to be about one box. Therefore, we can say that delta y over delta x is about one half or 0 0.5. And so for the next one at f, finding the derivative at x equals one, we're gonna do the same thing. If you look here, you can see the line is pretty much flat. So there's basically no rise because it's not going up or down. And it doesn't really matter how much you choose for the run, this line is always going to have no change in the rise. So it just becomes 0 over 1, which is simply 0. If we chose a distance twice as long, it's 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So basically the point we're trying to get to is that 0 divided by any length is still going to be 0. All right, going on to the next one. Here I have already drawn the box in. So I drew a little tangent line at the point where x equals 2. And I'm trying to estimate the change by figuring out the rise of the run. The important difference here between question A and question C is now if you look at the direction of the arrow, the direction of the arrow is pointing downwards in the rise direction. So it's minus two units is how, because it's moving down by two units. And of course the run is still moving to the right. So you end up with negative two over two, which is just negative one. Anyways, if you need any more help with these concepts or if you have a question you need solved, just feel free to comment in the subscription. Feel free to like and subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful.